first application of this pivot motion is how it relates to loose fingers. One of the things we need when we change bow directions is we need to have smooth connections. And one of the ways we can do that and achieve that is through loose, supple fingers. Um, what we need if we want to analyze this down is when we change bow directions we need a split second or a very short period of time where the pressure actually comes out of the string right when we change directions and is immediately applied back into the string. This prevents a if I don't let go of the pressure it stops the vibration for a second and then it's back in again. Now we may, may want that for certain musical situations, but if we would like a smooth bow change, you don't want to stop the string and choke it for a second and then change directions. So there needs to be a slight release of the, of the weight into the string and then a reapplication. If you have loose fingers, it does this for you, and that's the nice thing about it. So let me just play some examples from the literature where uh, we need to have smooth bow changes. Okay, sometimes it could be uh, fast playing or slow playing. It could be, for example, the beginning of the Sanson Concerto. Okay, where you just need to make sure that the bow changes are smooth. Or it could be something slower, like the uh, one of the melodies from the last movement of the uh, Rachmaninoff Cello Sonata. Okay, so let's look more carefully at this pivot motion and how it relates to the fingers. As I mentioned on the previous page of the website, uh, this is a very important motion to practice, this pivot. So the next step in relation to loose fingers is to place the fingers on the bow and practice this pivot motion with the fingers bending and giving with the, and some straightening so that they don't slip while you do this. Okay, because what we're going for is this sort of thing. And there's going to be a little pivot going on and the fingers are going to bend and flex. Okay, so this is how I practice it and I need to be, uh, back up a little bit. So I'll have all my fingers on the bow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tip up. This is analogous to the up bow. And I'm going to put it down. That is analogous to the down bow. Okay, and I'm going to practice this. Now let me go a little closer so you can see exactly what's going on. When the tip goes up, analogous to the up bow, what you'll notice is that the first finger and these two fingers in the back of the hand do the opposite thing. The first finger bends more and then the back of the hand straightens more. When the tip goes down, analogous to the down bow, the first finger is going to straighten more and the back of the hand is going to bend more. The important thing is though, when you do the down bow, when you pivot back, that you always maintain contact here with this last part of the finger. That has to hold on, otherwise it'll come out and you'll be doing what I call the steak knife grip. You don't really want to bow like that. Okay, you want to keep some position. So if you just maintain some contact here, a little hook with that last digit on the finger on the bow, you can get almost a feeling of pulling. You can pull the bow while holding on with that first finger. There's a pulling feeling. Okay, so here it is again. Notice the back of the hand and the first finger do the opposite thing. When one bends, the others straighten. First finger bent, back of the hand straightened, first finger more straightened, straightened, back of the hand more bent. And then you can practice this. Now, something else happens with the thumb. On the up bow, when we go this way, the thumb tends to straighten a little bit, and then on the down bow, the thumb tends to bend a little bit more. So you also have a little bit happening there, if you can see that. It's a little hard to show on the camera here. Okay, so thumb a little straighter, thumb more bent. A little more bent on the down bow, the supination. Okay, so I hope that helps. Keep practicing this loose finger motion. It'll help a lot in keeping the uh, hand loose and uh, happy practicing.